Well, morning, Trainiacs. You may be wondering why I am in such a good-looking Scotty kit. Well, that's about to be answered, right? Now, we are going to unbox setup, and I'm going to give you the first impressions of the entire 2018-2019 Wahoo Kicker Indoor Smart Bike Trainer setup with the Wahoo Kicker 2018 version, the Kicker Headwind, and the much awaited for 15, 18 months Kicker Climb. Let's do it. Trainiacs, for those of you that have been around for a hot minute, you know that I used the 2017 Wahoo Kicker and then have recently moved over to Cyclops and have recently just tried out the Cyclops H2. And you're going like, well, now are you going back to Wahoo? No, I'm not going back to Wahoo. Cyclops just wants me to have an honest opinion and honestly use their product. So what they say is, we want you to know everything about the other products, so it's okay to go and review and try out all of the Wahoo stuff, all of the TACX stuff, Elite Directo, things like that, so that you can get a good sense of where the Cyclops trainer fits in the market. Hence, see some Wahoo stuff. So the Wahoo Headwind is a smart fan that pairs with any system. It doesn't have to be a Wahoo trainer. I can pair this with my Cyclops H2 trainer. Really nothing else in the box besides the fan. This fan goes on the ground, sits about, I think, three to six feet in front of you. You can tilt it up, tilt it down from what I know. And as you speed up and slow down, the fan gets faster or slower. The 2018 Wahoo Kicker, significant upgrade from the 2017, which was a significant upgrade from the 2016. The 2017 allowed for compatibility with the Kicker Climb. The Kicker Climb is not compatible with any other trainer besides a Kicker because they have to have built in the ability to move up and down into the trainer. So, they updated that with the 2017 kicker. The 2018 kicker, they updated the freewheel to have apparently a little bit more road-like feel, and they upgraded the just the build of the unit to be a fair bit more quiet. What I've always found is that the kicker had a little bit more of a high-pitched whine than the Cyclops Hammer and the H2. This is uh, supposedly quite a bit more quiet. Oh yeah, the foam. Oh, I remember there's so much foam with this. Okay, we're doing this. I got a little box out. Come on. Oh. New 2018 Wahoo Kicker. Really just looks like the previous kicker, only difference is on this side of the flywheel. It's hollowed out, which is impressive because this is still a very nice heavy flywheel, which that heavy flywheel gives a good road-like feel, but that's not what we're all here for. The big thing is the Wahoo Kicker Climb. Now this was announced at Eurobike 2017. It was supposed to come out that fall. Then it was supposed to come out over this past winter. Then it was supposed to come out in this spring. Now, finally, in fall of 2018, it's available because they had to do a lot of updates to make that up and down feel more reliable, more smooth. Let's see what it looks like. I've only seen a floor show model. Ooh, don't cut towards you. More foam. Gravity. Precious cargo. It exists. My God! There were times that I actually wasn't sure if this would happen. Important, please read before removing this label. <laughs> no, let's not do that. Avoid frame damage. Kicker Climb was designed for use only with select kicker and kicker snap trainers. Like I said. Let's take this over, set it up. I'll give you just a few minutes of first impressions. 
One of the nice features of the Wahoo Kicker lineup is that it already comes with a cassette on it. And you don't need a block at the front to wedge up your front wheel. This adjustment lever to move the free wheel up and down ends up putting that rear hub right at basically where it needs to be so that you can be level with the ground. So you move this back and forth so it fits with all different size tires and you don't have to have that shim at the front of your bike. So the headwind here is apparently designed to sit either at the front of your Wahoo desk or I think up to about six feet out. It's got its own built-in cord. Google Chrome gets unplugged. So place the climb out front here and there isn't even really a stand. It's like one of those weeble wobble things that you try to knock over but just doesn't go. Plug it in and then they include a bunch of front adapters for the various different sizes of dropouts that you might have. I want to say that that is probably the one. First ride, after trying to get my hands on this for a year. So we're set up, I have yet to hit hills on the Zwift course that I'm doing, but right off the bat, once everything is paired, and there is a little bit of finickiness because we have a trainer first talking to a climb, then talking to a headwind, and it all has to talk to whatever app you've got. It's a bit of a pairing rigmarole at the start. Once you figure it all out, hop on, and it's working. So I can go at uh, about 30 kilometers an hour right now, just an easy spin. Go really easy, and the headwind goes down basically to a light breeze. See if I can pick it up, and right away the headwind picks up. Apparently it'll go to, I believe, about 40 kilometers an hour. All right, so first impressions. It is what it says it is. The kicker itself, road feel is basically just like the 2017 version. Little bit quieter, not like dead silent, but very, very quiet. That low whine that was in the 2017 version, gone. The headwind in speed mode, you can notice a very quick change in the speed of the, the wind that's coming at you. What I was doing there is I was doing U-turns on a hill, so as I would go downhill on Zwift, the speed would pick up basically instantly as I go uphill. Right now, it's basically just at a, a very low setting. Climb itself, I think the delay from what I heard was because the changes in elevation were too quick and it was like, uh, uh. Which I actually found to be cool when I first wrote it, but now it's so smooth and quiet that you basically don't even notice it. Like I had to actually put a camera on and start doing U turns to make sure that it was set to be going up and down because it is just very, very gradual. If you start doing U turns, you can notice a very instant change in the elevation. Right now we're up at seven, and unless I really think about it, it's not like it has felt like it's been changing this whole time. But if I think about it now, yeah, of course it feels like I'm riding on an incline. I'm gonna keep testing it. If you wanna see specific reviews, of course we will do a review, so make sure that you hit the subscribe button below. If you are already subscribed and you've got specific questions about the Kicker 2018 model, the Kicker Climb, the Kicker Headwind. Let me know what they are in the comments below and we'll start cranking away on videos to answer all those questions. Now I'm gonna go do as hilly a workout as I can. Nine degree incline, it's hilly. And thank you to Wahoo for sending all this out. I sense pain in my future. Later, Trainiacs.